That answer can change this state, chart a new direction, educate a child, and literally save lives in our state. I feel it. I know it. 2014 is the year that we will finally change South Carolina and bring honest leadership and accountability back to this state. And you are going to do it in six months. Six months. All right. We're on a mission. We are on a mission to bring honest leadership and accountability back to South Carolina. And I can't think of a better place to talk about it than right here behind this stump because we sure haven't seen it for the last four years, have we? Think about what we've seen. We have not seen leadership because it is not leadership to have a governor who vetoed funding for public education Y'all, she vetoed funding for teacher pay raises, and then in an election year, she claims she's for public education. That is not leadership, Nikki Haley. That is politics. And in 2014, we're going to change it. We're going to change it. Because it is not honest leadership. Then to have a governor who is blocking almost a billion of our taxpayer dollars that could help 300,000 working South Carolinians with health insurance. That's not leadership. That's just stupid. And we're going to change it this year. It is pretty stupid. Isn't it? Think about what we've seen. South Carolina had the 50th lowest number of small business administration loans this past year. South Carolina has seen declining incomes for the last three years under Nikki Haley. South Carolina has seen record numbers of people drop out of the workforce under Nikki Haley. But in 2014, we're going to change that because we're going to take our state back in only six months. In six months. You know, we had three and a half million of us have our most personal, private information hacked into in Nikki Haley's Department of Revenue, and all she could do was get up in front of the TV and say nobody was at fault while she covered it up for three weeks and still won't tell us what really happened. This is serious. If you don't believe how serious this is, let me share with you my conversation with child protective advocates, with group home operators who have told me that under Governor Nikki Haley's Department of Social Services, they have never seen, they have never seen as many children with skull fractures, with broken bones. If I didn't think this was serious, believe me, when I sat down with those people and listened to their stories, I knew it was serious. It is serious. But I didn't come here to talk to you about the last four years, because they've been bad. I came to here to talk with you about the next yeah. four years, because those four years are going to be incredibly bright for this state. Yeah. Reverend, it's written in the book of Proverbs that without a vision, the people perish, and we have been without a vision for far too long. But our vision, our vision says that every four-year-old in South Carolina should have the opportunity to go to four-year-old kindergarten, and we're going to do that next year. Our vision says that in the first six months of my gubernatorial ship, we're going to bring our Medicaid dollars to South Carolina and those jobs and help those kids. Our vision says, by God, we are going to pave these roads and fix these bridges because I'm tired of driving on this junk. We're going to fix it. We've got a lot to do. I will see you next year, Russell Holiday and the Holiday family, as your governor. As your governor. But in the meantime, I want to invite each and every one of you to the South Carolina State House the second week of January when you're going to be sitting out there and I'm going to be standing on those steps and I'm going to raise my right hand and put my left hand on the Bible and we're going to swear in a new governor and we are going to change this state. Let's make it happen. Let's win. Let's get up and do it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.